Graves' disease is one of the medical thyroid conditions. So there's this uh, type of disease called autoimmune thyroiditis, and there's two main forms of it. Um, uh, the more scary and kind of aggressive one is Graves' disease. It's, it's a very abrupt onset usually, and your, um, what's happening is your body is making antibodies to your thyroid gland. And so it's making these antibodies and then that effect on the gland is to just start spilling. Like, you know, these thyroid glands get huge. They get really beefy and they start making tons and tons of thyroid hormone. And um, some of those antibodies will actually also affect your eyes um, and maybe even your brain and, um, and your heart rate will be really high. So all your metabolic functions that, affect, that are affected by high thyroid happen during Graves' disease, it's kind of like a thyroid storm where you just have way too much thyroid hormone. Um, and the cause of it is this autoimmune thing. So these antibodies that your body made, makes to the gland, then the gland spills all of this thyroid hormone. And so your blood pressure is really high, your heart rate's really high. Uh, you're very nervous. If you've ever talked to somebody in the Graves' thyroid storm, they're all over the place and none of it's good. Very, very anxious. Um, and their eyes will even get kind of bulgy and it's, it's not a fun thing to have to go through. But it is a medical thyroid condition and so it's treated in a couple different ways. There's a, a medication you can take and then they, if they, that doesn't work, then they will actually do use radioactive iodine to really kill the gland off. Some people think that they're just gonna get it back to normal, but most of the time in Graves' disease, you go from having way, way, way too much thyroid hormone to not having any anymore, which is a better condition because then you can supplement with thyroid hormone uh, orally, just a pill of thyroid hormone um, that's, a, that's at a steady state, which is what your thyroid should be at. So Graves' disease is one of those autoimmune thyroiditis. And then the, the more common one is actually Hashimoto's thyroiditis. And Hashimoto's thyroiditis, you also make antibodies to your gland, but it's just not as dramatic. And it's usually like in waves. So maybe you'll, it's more common, all of those autoimmune diseases of the thyroid are more common in women. But you know, my brother had Graves' disease, so you don't get scot-free all the way if you're a guy. Um, but they're, they are more common in women. So sometimes if you look at someone over their life with either Graves or Hashimoto's, but more with Hashimoto's, they'll have a little spike of their antithyroid hormones like during pregnancy time or childbearing years. Um, and then they'll kind of dip and they can go up and down even with stress. Um, so the person doesn't usually know what's going on because it's not as dramatic as Graves. And just over time, those thyroid antibodies kind of burn the gland out. So the gland starts to, over time, not function anymore. And it's the most common source for hypothyroidism. So when your gland starts making not enough thyroid hormone, Hashimoto's is, the, is one of the most common causes for that. It usually takes, you know, 30 years. So 30-year-old, 40-year-old women may find that they're now hypothyroid. It can be subtle. So sometimes their skin is just drier or they're like a little constipated and maybe they're not even really tired. Maybe they're cold a lot. But most of the time it's not discovered based on symptoms. Um, most of the time you go into your doctor, you know, in your late 30s or 40s and they run labs and they find out your thyroid hormone's high. Your, well, your thyroid hormone is low, but this level that we check, which is your TSH, it's high. So your brain makes TSH to stimulate your gland. And if your gland's not making enough thyroid hormone, your brain keeps saying, hey, more, more, more. And so this TSH level goes high. And so people will sometimes be confused by that. They'll say, well, my level was high. Well, your TSH was high. And that means that you're really not making, that your thyroid hormones were low. So Graves' disease is this dramatic hyperthyroid condition. And um, Hashimoto's is so, so sort of subtle, over the years, gradual hypothyroid. Yeah. In the end, a post-Graves patient is going to be hypothyroid too. They're going to have hormone replacement. And the Hashimoto's patient will also be on on hormone replacement. So they kind of can look the same and, and sometimes people get confused with the two types. And then the main people who treat that are going to be the endocrinologists. So sometimes I'll see a Graves patient in my office and they're not very, they're not doing very well and it can be hard to actually even get them to understand that I'm not the doctor <laughs> for them. Um, so I'll try to get them you know, set up with an endocrinologist. So uh, those are the medical conditions. And then um, both of those, more Hashimoto's than, um, than Graves, can lead people to make nodules. And so you can have nodules in the face of Hashimoto's. And so sometimes when we get our biopsies, they'll say that there's um, 
like a, it'll say chronic lymphocytic thyroiditis. And that basically means this person's nodule is because of Hashimoto's.